One pass that could prove effective is the chess pass. Now, I'm Travis Corpening, and this is the chess pass. What you want to do when you're, when you're actually trying to execute the chess pass is you want to set it up where it's literally what it's saying, what the name of the pass is. You're coming from your chest. Now, where, it, where you have to do a little bit of, do things a little bit different where you don't just use your upper body is that you want to make sure that you step into that pass. Now, if you're right-handed, step with the right foot, left-handed, step with the left, but you want to make sure you get that step in because that'll put the force behind it so that the pass is effective. Now, when I'm making this chest pass, I want to step first and have the ball coming straight from my chest and pass it directly to the other man's chest. Now, if you notice my hands, my hands turn out when I'm making that pass. So what you want to do is you want to kind of make sure the ball spins backwards when you're making that chest pass. And that'll make sure you have enough force behind it and that it'll go directly where you want it to go. So let's try one more time. I step into the pass and there you go. Catching the ball right in his bread bat, right in his chest, straight from mine. There you have it, the chest pass.